Look at this oh, pompano, y'all. That is a 17 plus so inch right, right. pompano right there. I thought I was recording. I guess I just started, but oh my gosh, guys. I mean, right, I literally said baby jack. I called it a baby jack. Yeah, he's so yeah. yeah. I was recording. Let's go. Oh, uh, yeah. What a day. I know. Hey, That's a good this. fish, Jimmy. That's the first cast of the day. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Surfside Jetty. We've got really great conditions out here right now. The water clarity is looking beautiful. It always starts off like this in the morning time, and I am looking forward to some pompano. Hopefully the Spanish mackerels will show up. I do believe I got hit by one yesterday because my paddle tail, there's the first bite. And we're on, y'all, just like that. Holy cow. What is this? It's not a trout. I don't know what that is. Oh, little spade fish. Look at that. <laughs> nice. That's in a little exotic species right there. So, doesn't take long. That's the very first cast with live shrimp, and uh, we're already in them. Look at this guy, right there. Nice little spade fish. That's a pretty cool looking fish right there. Are you keeping, Jimmy? Keeping fish? It's right here, son, if you want to pull it out, the uh, measure board to get a photo. Oh, there we are. That is a good bite. He got off. Ah. Oh, no, he didn't. He was swimming at me. Spanish. Yes. Spanish? Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hey, get in now. Yes. Spanish <laughs> mackerel, y'all. I am super excited for this fella right here. He's probably... Yeah, it's real clean. Let's get this guy off and then we'll check to see if he's going to be legal size. They got to be 14 inches to the tip of the tail. A lot of people measure to the fork. It is not to the fork. It's to the tip of the tail. Spanish mackerel. Daily bag is 15. Minimum inches is... I mean, uh, daily bag is 15. Minimum length is 14 inches. And you see right there, it says for hard-tailed fish, turn the tail to obtain the maximum length. So as, I don't know, okay, so it's not gonna, oh, there we go. So there goes the mackerel style tail. That's what I mean to the tip of the tail. Most people are measuring it to the fork. And here in the state of Texas, you don't do that. In other states, yes, but here you don't. Oh yeah, he's uh, 15 inches. Yeah, 15 inches. You want it?
check this out. We got a new bait bucket. Uh, what I learned really quick yesterday and the previous two days here at the jetties, mainly the, the first day, uh, is when I really noticed it. Uh huh. Uh, the smaller bucket that I have, it's fine and all for the kayak, it cuts down on size and everything, but the out here inside the sun, it, it starts to bacon everything at the surface and being that it doesn't have a lot of water inside that bucket our shrimp were getting cooked so taking a look at some of the other fellas that are out here and their bait buckets um, i mean we're learning as we go we bought this right here it looks like it's going to do the trick it can carry a lot more water in it as well so that's going to kind of help us out and uh, keeping sure that the water stays cool they don't start to discolor and turn opaque and look like they're actually cooking inside that water. We'll find out as soon as that sun comes out on just how sluggish them shrimp will get. But uh, we measured that one at our local sporting goods store before purchasing it because we pre-measured the wagon and we're like, it's probably gonna be a snug fit. It surely is, but it looks like it's gonna work. There we go, there we go. Come on, baby, take it. There we are, we got him. Here we are. I'm just gonna keep the net by me. Oh, that's why I was asking if you needed help. Uh-oh. Popped off. I didn't think I would, but I do. Yeah. Yeah, they do. 100%. Thank goodness. That's all we got. What? Small, smaller shrimp. There's one big, ginormous one in there. Oh, he busted my line. 20 pound fluoro. I'm gonna have to tie or get my hook out. Oh, thank goodness he's a keeper. Yesterday we did not have. Yeah, 17 inches, that's the perfect keeper size if you ask me. What we'll do is brain spike him so that he's no longer feeling any pain. All right, buddy. There we are. Oh, we are on fire today, y'all. We are on fire. Nice little puller. Got some weight behind it. Sheep's head, look at that. That's why it's got some weight behind it because that, that broadside head of theirs. Look at that. Not a keeper, but that's uh, the, we got a mackerel, spade fish, sheep's head, uh, speckled trout. Four species on the day. There we go. You don't want to put your fingers anywhere near their mouth unless you're using extreme care. They've got some teeth and they will uh, they'll chomp down on you and ruin your finger. But nice little sheep's head right there. Look at that. They got some really strong spines, so you gotta be careful with them because they'll get you, especially whenever you're filleting them. Yeah, they'll get you big time. All right, buddy. We'll see you later, bro. And there he goes. He's not gonna steal our shrimp no more. What a great day it's turning out to be, especially whenever you get to witness your son catch uh yeah it was man y'all got to go over to real gulf coast fishing and check out what he just pulled in from the jetty today my heart is still pounding from seeing the size of this fish i turned my head and then my cork went down uh, he's got a little bit of weight no i don't think so
Woo, baby. Another gorgeous big trout. Oh my gosh, we are crushing it today, y'all. All really nice, healthy keepers. Get a quick measurement for y'all at home. My guess, 18, somewhere around there. Chill out, fat mama. Gosh, it has been a phenomenal bite. I mean, we're talking just absolutely phenomenal. Ice chest is gonna be full today. 19 and a half. Oh my gosh. You gotta love results like this. The sun is not out. We got great overcast skies. Conditions are perfect. The water is absolutely phenomenal. We've got that clear greenish colored water and it's a rarity to have that here. And to have that here near Galveston. Oh, Christian's on another one. Look at that double up, y'all. Double up. I mean, we're just bringing them in left and right. We did our best to wake up as early as we possibly could to come out here and get this spot right here. Here, I got the net, son. I think I got it. I want to practice doing it solo. Uh, not, that net is too darn heavy. Super strong. Okay. I'm telling you, it's heavy. Eh, lucky shot. You gotta love the results of the day. Come on, boy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was caught while he was yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> you seen that one yesterday? Ah! Yeah. Wow, everybody having fun today. Everybody's catching fish. There we go, there we go, there we go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Yep. Oh yeah, baby. It's another good puller. You need that trout, me? No. You okay? Uh, no, I think I can flip it. Okay, let's flip this guy then. Y'all, oh my gosh, the words just cannot express like how great of a day this has turned out to be. I mean, the big girls are feeding. Jimmy, you called it, brother. You called it, man. He said today was gonna be a really good day, and then look at this. Nineteen and a half. And a half inches. All right. I'm so glad you two show up today, though. Oh man. Oh, let's uh, put this fella out of his misery. One catch. Oh, just read. Everything is here today. Everything. Yep. Oh my goodness, this is a lovely day. Very. And you notice the overcast, crazy overcast. Yep. There he is.
He's got some weight. Just a hard fighter. Oh my gosh. There we go. All right, can help everybody else out now. <laughs> Teen and three quarters. Thank you. Uh-huh. Here's the rig that we are set up with. It's just a homemade DIY jetty cork. I have a video where I show how to make this. Concept is a uh, barrel swivel up there, about a foot and a half to two feet of leader line going straight to your cork. You tie that to the other end of the swivel. And on that same end of the swivel that the cork is tied to, you have about a seven foot or so long piece of uh, fluorocarbon and at the end of that we got a split shot i don't i think it's like a size two or I, i'm not too sure honestly but it's a small little split shot and then we have a drop shot hook i'm not too sure the size of these as well but uh, they'll the majority of my stuff is going to be linked in the video description down below so if you're interested in some of the gear that we use then you can go down there I'll try to remember to link the video on how to do that DIY jetty cork. And the concept is whenever the fish bite, you're gonna feel sometimes, uh, not all the time, depends on what kind of rod you're using. These aren't the most sensitive, but uh, if you do have one the way my son does, that uh, suppressor from Old 18, you can kind of feel it better when the bite happens because you don't have to wait for this cork to go down. Sometimes the fish won't even take the cork down because they just hit the shrimp and there's a long leader line that they have to pull and straighten out the line to have tension and then the cork finally goes down. But you can feel the bite because this line to the hook goes straight to that swivel, straight to your line. You don't need that to go down to feel that bite.